Uh, now you're on the page about Mel Robbins and rocket ships in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. She wrote a book called The Five Second Rule. And it's brilliant. And it combines a lot of different strategies into a simple one. And we are a person of habits. That's what we're talking about, those thought holes, right? The thought holes are habits. The way when something negative happens, we jump into how we typically deal with stuff. All right? And Mel Robbins came up with a way, and it's been around for whatever, to move from where our habits are in our brain, the basal ganglia, to our prefrontal cortex, which is where we make decisions. And this, the SoundCloud, uh, <laughs> search it, it's such a great title, Why Motivation is Garbage. She has this whole thing on, and it's all true, like, it's not that you're not motivated, your brain wants you to just chill. Your brain wants you basically to stay in bed, okay? So you're not weird, you're not unmotivated, you're just following your, your brain's um, function and, and what it's built for, which is to keep you safe. And what's safer than staying in bed? I don't know, not much. So, that SoundCloud has a couple curse words, so, you know, be careful. Uh, the BS word is in there a couple times. Nothing crazy, uh, but that might be crazy to you or your parents. So, I apologize for that, but it, the, the, the message of that is so vital. And I can't say it better than she does, so I want you to listen to her. All right. But basically, it boils down to counting backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm good. Five, four, three, two, one. This is not that positive. I mean, this is not that negative. Uh, it's there's actually positives. The the counting backwards makes you get out of your habit, out of your uh, autopilot, and move towards thinking. And once you move towards thinking, you have to anchor it with um, an accurate thinking, accurate thought. Okay. So. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. I've been using it. It works. Uh, people procrastinate. It's not really procrastinating. It's your brain just like, you're trying to do something different, dude. You better stop. Because, so, we have to outsmart our brain. Alright. This page has cool pictures on it. You, your past never defines your future. We are so stuck in our past. I use the, something happened to you in the past, terrible, crazy, amazingly awful, okay? There's a really good, uh, on the YouTube channel that I have, Together Tuesday, like with the number two, like together, you know, with the number two, Together Tuesday, fault versus responsibility, all right? Things that happen in the past are not your fault, but it's your responsibility. If it happens to me, it's my responsibility to, to I don't want to say get over it, like get over it, but work through it to the point where you actually gain power because there's power in overcoming stuff. There's strength building in overcoming stuff. All right. I like to say, what happened to you, you're carrying it with you like it's your name. Like you don't even have a name. Like your, now your new name is Rate. I got Rate. Your new name is, uh, I didn't get a 4.0. Your new name is, oh, I don't think my parents like me. No, that's not your name. Your name is your name. Who you are is who you are. Those things are not who you are. They're instances that happen to you. And again, I'm not minimizing them. They're crazy. They're wrong that they happen. But you have to learn the skills of accurate thinking to move past them, okay? And now you are who you really are. That's not who you are. You're not those things. You're who you really are. And you're moving ahead towards your, your vision for your life, your goal for your life, uh, which has to include... How are you going to serve the world? How are you going to help make the world a better place? And to think that you don't have the skills to do that is wrong. It's not true. You have, everyone has what it takes to be 
a, um, a producer of really great things in this country, in this world. And truth be told, you're going to be, you're going to have an impact on the world one way or another. If you're going to be negative, if you're going to be I don't care, or whatever, that's actually having an impact on the world. Versus, um, I have a vision for my life, my day is going to be like this, my 24 hours are going to be like this in terms of making a positive contribution, in, in terms of getting things done, in terms of gaining knowledge, in terms of how I'm going to impact people, right? That's, you have a choice. And there's no middle. Like you could even, even if you just go through your each day like, oh, I'm not going to feel nothing. Or I'm just going to like, whatever. That has an impact on the world. It just does. So to think that you're not significant or to think that you don't matter is a lie. When you do negative things, it impacts the world. When you do nothing, it impacts the world. It just does. So, um, let you're going to impact the world. Why not do it in a in a positive way? Why not do it in a way that benefits you and everybody else? That's my point. Accurate thinking.